Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> this is this is my first conference. I've never done any conferences before. This is my first one. My name is Shinwan Park Astro Shin, so it's my first name, Shin. So nice to meet you, everybody. It, <laughs> I'm here to introduce myself and talk about myself and what the future space exploration could be like for us people, for young people. And I think there are many possibilities, and I'll be introducing some of them. And yeah, okay, let's move on. Okay, so. My name is my name is Astro Shin, as I said, Shin Wan. That's sh is my Korean name, Park Shin Wan. But I won't. I, it's too long, so I can't put all of it in. So I just cut in half and put the word Shin. So yeah, as I said, this is my Korean name, Park Shin Wan, and Lloyd is my English name. So Shin Wan Lloyd Park is my full name. I think Lloyd is more like my middle name now. But I have different versions. I have English and Korean names. But yeah, that's my overall name. People, some people call me Shin. Some people call me Lloyd. Some people call me Shin Wan. Yeah. Okay. So where I'm from? Okay, I am from Korea, South Korea, and I'm also from Russia. I'm half half because my mom is Russian and my dad is Korean. And yeah, that's that's what it is. And currently, I'm not living in South Korea. I'm living in UK. I'm doing my studies here currently. I started studying here last year at October, so that's when I came here first. Um, I never went to a Korean school, that's the thing. So I never been to, I only went to international school. That's where I learned English and other languages also. Environment. Okay, this is just where, just about where I studied and where I did all my studies. In Korea, as I said, I never, I only been to a Korean school for about three months when I was really young. But my parents decided it's better for me to go to international school to learn English because I really wanted to learn English. I think English was my first language more than Korean, even though I lived in Korea. It's because I was more interested in that language rather than learning Korean. So. I think English was my first language, and then Korean and Russian came after. So these are the languages I know. Spanish, the reason why I do know some Spanish, because I did study Spanish for three years in middle school, but you know, I forgot most of them, but I still can speak a few sentences and you know have simple conversations. So international schools, I in Korea, South Korea, I went to U.S. international school for eight and a half years. That's really a long time. Currently, I'm in U.K., I go to MPW College. I'm currently I'm almost finished with my GCSE studies, and then next I'm going to do foundation, and then universities and degrees. And but to be honest, I'm not really sure if I want to do my university here. I was planning to do university in US, but for now I'm not really sure about that. Things could change, but yeah. My goal. This is what I'm planning. So first, I want to have a degree on aerospace engineer. And I want to have that degree, like a study, and move on to it by going to Air Force. I really wanted to go to the Air Force when I was a kid. I always wanted to fly on airplanes, and those are my favorite things. And paramedic, I just want to have some kind of knowledge on fast first aid medical, so that it can really help me on missions sometimes if I do become one of the mission astronauts in NASA. But you know, it's just there are some boundaries. I mean, there are there aren't if you want to be be positive, but sometimes there are real boundaries that you have to go through. Okay, so NASA astronaut, as I said, but the thing is, in order to become an astronaut in NASA, you have to. There are some requirements, and one of the requirements is that you have to be an American citizen, which I'm not. My citizen is South Korea, so that's the problem I have. Maybe I will live there for a long time maybe I will allow they will allow me to have a, um, um, citizenship but that will take some time too so that's why I'm not sure about uh, the path I, the exact path I need to be taking because it's there's so many requirements I have to take and you know it's just sometimes it won't work out the way you want it to do so you know I'll just I will uh, watch so next is seven when I when I read this book about the kids astronaut, I mean I do I did start reading when I was five. I did read a lot of books. I do like books. I read hundreds of maybe thousands. I'm not sure, but books when I was young until now. And 
this book, I think I couldn't find the right book, but this was the book I read. It was the background is the same, but I don't think that's the title. But you know, it was about this how to become an astronaut, and it was just a really interesting book because the things and it was so interesting how people actually go to space for exploration, and I just never thought that was like a real thing, as I said. Yeah, so that's I I do still have the book currently, and I do I am keeping it as because I just I think it's one of the things that really allowed me to think about what I want to do later on, and that was the book that allowed me to think that I should actually become an astronaut, maybe. When I was twelve, I decided to tell my friends or family that I that I really wanted to be an astronaut, an engineer. So I mean, I did. As a younger age, I did really want to become a person that like an engineering part, but I never thought I'll become. Uh, I I would really want to become an astronaut later on. I did want to become an engineer part the around the mechanical engineering degrees, but yeah, sixteen. I'm I'm seventeen right now, but sixteen is and I'm really trying to put my goals towards the things I really want to do. So. As I said, I'm planning to do, do degrees on engineering, aerospace engineering, and maybe even paramedic medical first aid. And I'm just trying to reach my dream as I start to develop my degrees and university and schoolwork. So, okay. So, interest. I really like sci fi movies, books, everything about sci fi, and even fi, but yeah, science fiction and fiction. Um, floor hockey, that's my sport, I really do, do like hockey, currently I can't play because corona and everything is not working well, so there's nothing we can do. Books, I do read a lot of books, I, do, I read a lot, and you know, some books I read are mythologies, old books about legends, or maybe books about space, I do, do have a lot of space, I do read a lot of teen romance too, but fantasy, I do read a lot, Hunger Games, a lot, so yeah. Crafting and fixing. I do like uh, crafting and fixing. Uh, the, the reason why is because I really did like my dad taught me how to use tools when I was young. He used to take me to his workshop every single day, almost every week, to teach me how to do things and fix uh, objects and just everything. He used to build shelves and other objects in his workshop. So when I was young, when I was like eight, I knew how to use the correct tools to work out. So I, that's why I really want to do things like engineering. So, I mean, I like to build things alone. I like to fix things also. So, you know, I also like to make patches alone. So, yeah, I like to listen to music a lot. Uh, I listen to too much music, to be honest. I, I do have listened to almost like nine tenth out of time a day time. I'll be listening to music. So, yeah, some music I like is... Ed Sheeran and Anne Marie are my favorite, some of the favorite artists. So yeah, sci-fi. As I said, I like TV shows a lot too. I do watch a lot of sci-fi TV shows. For example, like one of my favorites are uh, Star Wars. I mean, it is sci-fi. The One Hundred about it's about teenagers going to space. The Martian, one of my favorite <laughs> movies, because it just seems so realistic. Everything, the details they have, the information he says about the chemistry he does, everything is accurate, is really accurate, and I do like the way they really put out the real, yeah, it's just, it looks so real, so I, I watched that over like 20 times already. Books, just to show chess, I do play a lot of chess too, I mean, I started again <laughs> after watching The Queen's Gambit, I really did like that show. I think it's one of the best films you could ever watch for relating to chess. And as I said, mythology, I really do like reading old legendary tales, the old times, mystery. I do like those kind of books, so yeah. Let's move on. Okay, not in the list. Okay, this is a slide I want to talk about more why I chose this title. Become an astronaut is not one of the list you could take, you could right here in Korea. So in Korea, when you go to high school, they give you a paper that says, I mean, I never saw the paper, but I heard my friends talking about it. They said that they give you a paper and then they tell you to write what you want to do later on, what degrees you want to go, what school you want to go into, what you want to do later, what job you want to have. And you know, it's just, there's like a whole list that talks about, that shows all the jobs you can like usually take. It's like, it's like a 
guide tour you know your degree guide and something like that and space aerospace engineering and astronaut is, he said that I asked him if it was in the list and he said it wasn't the reason why is because as a person who lives in Korea you know it just can't you just can't have those kind of jobs because it's it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different path you have to take. It's a different country, as I said. You can't work in NASA if you're not if you're not an American citizen. So it's just that it doesn't work out. Korea does have a space agency. However, currently they're not really doing anything. To be honest, I don't think Korea is really interested in, in participating in astronaut programs. So I'm not really sure if they're going to restart astronaut programs as they did a few years ago. But yeah. Usually the things that they value, like like astronauts or like doctors, I mean they, they those are just some of the things that people all want to be become you know because you know it's a great job, you get well paid I and mean, maybe yeah, but yeah it's just I think I I just saw that even if it sounds impossible there are some things that you could do to become an astronaut and I believe in the future there's gonna be more paths in order to become an astronaut and I'm pretty sure the technology is going to be better all the spaceships and as I said Elon Musk and NASA SpaceX are doing great things currently and I'm pretty sure in a few years people are going to really more interested in space exploration and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a huge thing later on so that's why it's not in the list however just because it's not in the list doesn't mean you can't choose it you just have to make another option on the bottom put another option put a dot and then write your dream and dream on because nothing is impossible how smart okay first of all i am not smart i am i'm definitely not smart i'm not a high iq 180 190 person i'm more of an average person to be honest i never was one of the a plus students in class i was never the A plus in this class. I was more of like a B or a C student. I was more of like a middle, just doing okay, just doing all the work I should and doing okay in tests. But I was never the A plus student in class. I just I never thought grades were that important. I just thought the most important thing is to look for what you really want to do later on, what thing jobs you want to take, as I said. And you know I did find what I want to do. I want to become an aerospace engineer degree. And I want to be an astronaut, mission pilot, and I believe that there's nothing impossible in this world. That the only thing that can block is yourself if you decide to give up, which you shouldn't. So yeah, I'm here trying to um, do my studies and develop my dream as I go on. Okay, current goal is to finish high school in UK, so that means I want to finish my foundation. And I also want to attend some space programs in U.S. To be honest, you know, going to U.S. is not that easy. I don't li live in U.S. I live in U.K. As I said, I moved here last year. And moving to another country after moving to another country from South Korea is really hard, to be honest. Yeah, so I'll have to look on, I mean, scholarships. I didn't get the scholarship, but however, I think I can attend this year if I do try hard enough. YouTube channel. <laughs> I really wanted to do YouTube channel since I was seven, but I never did it because I just never thought of a thing I should be doing, like what I'm going to make content. So I was just stuck. So I, but now I'm really deciding to go back in and try to think of something to do for my YouTube channel. So yeah, these are my goals currently. Currently, this year, this is what I want to achieve. Things finish high school. Yeah, as I said, foundation levels. I want to finish it. So my current goals. So that's how I'm developing currently. So my role models, my f most favorite person in the world, uh, Elon Musk, as I said, one of the most biggest dreamers <laughs> in this space. He's dreaming to go to Mars. He is. His goal is to, is to allow anyone. That's what he said. Is to allow anyone to go to space, no matter who. Anyone to allow. Um, going to space for anyone around people that's his goal so I do like the way he thinks about space and how he's really enthusiastic about it so I really do like him next is Johnny Kim he is an um, astronaut in NASA and I just he's my role model because 
he's also a Korean. He's his parents are Korean, and he moved. Her parents moved to America, and then they, he they raised them there, which he later become an a Navy SEAL, and then he became a doctor, and then he became an astronaut, which seems crazy because you you know one of those things. Even it's even harder if you want to even do one of those things. So I just think it just so as a Korean. South Korean, as I just think there, I just think he somehow broke the possibility of, you know, even though if you're South, if you're raised in a South Korean parents or in a country, I mean, he did move, but he was born there in the U.S. But however, he's just getting raised in the same environment just allows me to think that there are possibilities that they're not, it's not impossible to actually become an astronaut even if you're born in a different country and have a whole different environment so yeah he somehow broke the box he somehow broke the limit so that's why he's my role model next is Neil Tyson the grass the grass he's one of my favorite um, scientists physicists astrophysicists he's his talks are really great the way he allows people to think young people to think that the most important thing is to dream on and try your best to achieve your dreams because nothing is impossible and I like how he talks about space and every single facts about it I do watch a lot of talks online and I think because talks are just people's life stories and sometimes they can be really helpful if you're trying to find what you really want to do or if you're willing to take that chance later on in life so yeah so these are my three of my favorite people in the whole world you know, Musk, John Kim, Neil Tyson, DeGrasse. So yeah, future space. As I said, future space is going to be a whole different place. Maybe in five years, it's going to be a whole different place as you imagined. Because think about it, what did Elon Musk and the SpaceX company did in just five years? They sent, I don't know how many rockets, but I'm pretty sure they sent... They sent more advanced rockets than NASA did in the past 40 years. And I'm pretty sure in five years he could do a lot of great things just because because the the stuff he did in just five years is incredible. The advanced technology he developed with rockets, they're much better, they're more efficient, they're faster, they can carry more things, as I said. So I believe in the future there's gonna be more advanced technology that allows people to travel space easier and faster. And yeah, so that's why I, I think there's hope. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. As I said, the most important thing is not money or success. It's more about what you really want to do and if you did achieve your dreams further on. And the most important thing is to find what you really want to do, no matter what others say. Just move on, keep moving, and try to achieve your dreams because nothing is fucking impossible. Thank you. This was my slide. The most, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity opportunity to talk in this um, conference. Um, thank you for listening. If you guys are watching, this is a recorded video. It's not live, so you guys will be watching it with a recorded video. Recorded. Thank you for watching. Most important thing. Hold on. There's nothing that's impossible. I mean. I'm pretty sure later on things are going to be different. You never know what's going to happen in the future. And the only thing is to do is to move on and achieve your dreams. Try to stay positive. Nothing is impossible. As I said, think outside the limitless. Space is limitless. You got to think limitless. You got to start dreaming over the box. Just because it's not in the list doesn't mean you can't choose that. You just have to make another option. And then when you do achieve that dream, others will see you and say, Oh yeah, it is possible. Because you made an option in the list. And yeah, try your best, achieve your dreams, and thank you. Adios.